what's the relation between reality and your films and how important is capturing reality in your work? In a way, it's a very difficult uh, question uh, because I think that we don't have an immediate relationship with the real and uh, it's more a process of remediation. So I was always interested by uh, some dispositive or some device to recreate uh, a situation and uh, I think that it's my purpose. I have to create a distance between the film itself and the reality I, 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 I want to, to grasp, to which, of course, uh, I want to film reality, but it means it's a, a sinuous uh, process. For example, uh, I did this film in Turkey about the change of alphabet. So I think it's better if I give an example. And uh, I was very interested by the memory of this uh, change, of this event in the contemporary Turkish uh, culture and society. Because in fact it's something we priest. Uh, everybody knows the, the fact that we did a change of alphabet between Arabic and, and Latin. But it's something forgotten. And so I was very in interested by how to film something lost, something uh, forgotten. And uh, so to reach or to film reality was for me more to create the conditions of possibility of, uh, uh, of the return of something repressed. And I don't know if, if I can say by chance, but I did the, this film five years ago and during the preparation of the film there was the uh, Occupy movement in the park Gezi. So they, there was something very striking between my research, in a way historical about this event, and suddenly all the walls of Istanbul with graffitis, with words, it means that there was a connection between the change of alphabet, the alphabetization of Turkish people, and the use, even if it was violently repressed, of the use of the alphabet. So it's an example for me of what it happens when we want to, to catch something repressed and when we have by chance the possibility to, to grasp uh, the return of the real.